Hi everybody, this is a short video to explain how to write a 20 mark essay question and um, particularly if you're doing Edexcel Economics A at AS level, so you're currently probably in year 12 and you're doing paper one, paper two. This is in section B where you've been given the data, you've done the data response questions and then you have a choice of two essays to do. You can either do 6F or 6G. When you choose your essay question, you know it's the essay because it will always have the word evaluate in it. And there are some basics that you must include in every essay. The first thing I'd advise doing at the beginning is doing a definition and then probably doing a diagram. You may do more diagrams later on. And then when you've done that, you need to be in your question thinking of making two main points. And then throughout the whole essay, you're going to follow a process of making a point, explaining your point, applying your point, and then some thinking. You must make the point, explain the point that you've just made, the applying, the application that is using perhaps the data that they've just given you. And you may also use your own real life examples. The thinking, this is the evaluation, hence the essay being about evaluating. Your thinking, your evaluation this needs to be evaluating the point that you made. And I suggest that you start these paragraphs with the word however, so that the marker knows that you're about to evaluate. And this is where you look at the bigger picture when you're evaluating. And the final thing with your essay is that you must have a conclusion at the end of it. And your conclusion is essentially your view on the question. So if we take this as an example, this is from the 2018 paper and paper two, evaluate government policies. Be careful, it says policies. So you have to write about at least two. Apart from migration policies that could be used to increase the employment rate in the UK. So a good thing to define here would be the employment rate. So this is the number of people who are willing and able to work, who have a job. And when you've done your definition, you're then going to straight go straight into your first point. So make your first point. So this will be thinking of your first policy in this case. So you state a policy that might be used to increase the employment rate. So you might say, for example, improving education, which is a supply side policy. So you will briefly explain your policy. And to help you explain, you're going to do a diagram. When you've done your diagram, you must make sure I'm going to write it again that you explain the diagram as well and your point. So if you're saying your first point is that the policy is improving education and training, you can then draw a diagram showing how this would happen in action, that you would see the long run aggregate supply curve shifting to the right. You explain everything happening in the diagram and you'd explain why improving education would cause an increase in productive potential and would cause more people to be employed in the UK. You then need to do some application. This could be using something in the data that you've been given. Perhaps there was some information about types of improvements in education that have been happening in the UK. And you may also think about your own examples. You might say something like, for example, they could spend more money in secondary schools and particularly focus on tech related subjects like maths and computer science so that these help people be able to get jobs which are becoming more available in the UK. And then you need to think 
you need to think about the point that you made, the policy that you talked about, the one that you explained in your diagram, the one that you did the application for. You need to think about why that might not work. For instance, there may be a long time lag. It might be very expensive for the government to pay for the education. What will the quality of the education be? Will there be jobs which match up with the skills that the people are learning at school? All of these things you could put in your evaluation, which is your thinking on your point. Next, you just do exactly the same thing again. So think of a new policy, a new point that you're making here. Explain that policy. Do your application. Do your thinking. Then the final thing is your conclusion. And your conclusion will be giving your view. And very often, if you have been writing about your two things, you might pick which you think will be the most effective and you might give some kind of caveat. You might say, on balance, the evidence suggests that the most effective government policy would be increasing education. However, this would only be more effective than the other policy that you talked about if it's ensured that the government works with businesses to understand the skills that businesses require people to have when they enter the workplace, something like that. It doesn't need to be that long. So it's 20 marks for the essay. You need to spend about five minutes planning at the beginning and then 20 minutes writing your essay. A mark a minute for the writing. Good luck.